previously on Sketch Survival. What is this? I've never seen this before. Huh. This is interesting. There's some floating candles. Long, long ago, there were wizards. If you're reading this, they're all dead. But before they died, they created a realm. A realm that can bring magic back into the world. You must, you must prepare, prepare yourself, yourself for, for this, this realm, realm by, by building, building a wizard, wizard tower. tower. Why don't I just use my magic wand and make it do the work for me? Because this is magic. Now. Whoa. Whoa. Why is everything changing colors? What's going on? Wait, 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 where, where did the demon thing go? What? Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here for Sketch Survival episode 49. And uh, in this episode, we're going to try again <laughs> to bring magic back into the world to hopefully help us defeat the demon. And... Uh, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe for the next episode because we have a world tour and download. But uh, yeah, in this episode, I also want to do the interior of our wizard tower. Now, I think over here is going to be like a kitchen area. And here is going to be like a lounge area or like the living room or living quarters. And then there's going to be a spiral staircase to get up to the next floor. Which then the magical, more more magical stuff will happen. There's going to be like a library slash enchanting setup. A maybe potions area and stuff like that around in the taller parts of the tower. And also probably a bedroom at some point. Maybe the bedroom's gonna be in here. I don't really know. I haven't really planned this out very well, but uh, I think it shouldn't be too hard to get this done. But what the main focus is, is to bring magic back into the world to help defeat the demon, because the demon did say that the magic is what banished him into the demon world or whatever. But uh, apparently... Why am I even, like, saying the magic like it's a person or something? It's an element, I guess. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna try it to start off by doing some of the rooms in this wizard tower. So I'm gonna start off with actually doing the interior of this bottom floor, and then we're gonna go up by one floor at a time until we've eventually finished the wizard tower. So I'm gonna, first of all, build a kitchen here and, like, a living area over here. And a little entrance over here because I think that could be nice. One eternity later. And I have gotten the interior of the first floor all done. We have a little kitchen on this side, dining room table, a little area for where a map of the whole area will be in the future. But I haven't actually added that yet. A little couch area with a little coffee table. And the way up is actually just a bubble elevator like so. And the way down is just a drop down onto a slime block right there. So I think that is pretty cool. And uh, I really like how this interior turned out. But now it's time for the second floor. I think on this floor we'll have the bedroom and the library. Also, before we move on to this floor, I just wanted to mention that uh, this episodes of Block SMP are the next week. Uh, this episode of Black and Simply that's supposed to be coming out on Wednesday is going to be cancelled because we have some big events coming up on my channel such as Sketch Survival Episode 50 and Sketch Survival Birthday. Sketch Survival Birthday video will be taking over the spot where the Black SMP episode was supposed to go because that is the birthday of Sketch Survival and then Episode 50 will be coming right after that. So it's just a lot of big events. I didn't have time to do anything for Block SMP episode that's coming that was supposed to come out. So that's not going to be coming out. And then the week after that is actually going to be a shorts week where basically every day, Monday through Friday, is going to be a YouTube short on my channel. So that's going to be fun. And then, yeah, that is basically why we're not going to have another Block SMP episode for like two weeks. So just wanted to mention that. 
But yeah, guys, let's get on into doing this floor of the wizard tower now. Okay, so I've done a bit. I think this room is a bit more empty than I thought, but I do have to add like a, some kind of staircase or something to get to the next floor, of course. But uh, this is what I have, some floating candles around, a chandelier with soul fire lanterns, and an enchantment table slash library area. I couldn't afford many more bookshelves, so this is all we have. And then in here we have the bedroom, which has some pink carpet. There's no really point, but I decided to make a pink. Blue beds, not very much in here. I'm probably gonna add some barrels and uh, maybe a crafting bench as well in a sec. But I think that is looking very nice for this floor. So up here on the next floor slash floors, I think that there's going to be a little brewing area, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, Maybe like a giant chandelier or something, maybe a crystal up there. I'm not really too sure yet, but that's what I think I want in here. And uh, once we get that done, I think we're going to be done with the interior for now. And I'm pretty sure... Why is there golden carrots on the floor? I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do some work on trying to bring that magic back into the world so that we can get help to defeat the demon. I don't really know how to defeat the demon, but I mean, once we got that dealt with, uh, I, I can probably figure it out from there. If you guys have any suggestions on how I should defeat the demon, make sure to let me know in the comments. Please, please let me know how I can use magic and stuff to defeat the demon, how we should do it. Give us your feedback in the comments. Anyways, now we're gonna work on the brewing room, and uh, I think I wanna have like spruce tables with like brewing stands on them and stuff. And then on the sides we have like storage stuff for like where our potions would go and stuff like that on the sides. So yeah, I think that's what the brewing room is gonna consist of. You guys, I think the demon has sent some of his followers, or I don't even know what these are, but I think he's trying to kill us without being here or something, because there's two skeletons. Huh. Is... Wait. Are these just retextured bow and arrows? Uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, I've got some spruce trapdoors to basically kind of build like tables along here and they're gonna be long-ish tables maybe like one there one there there can be like this one can be spaced out a bit more from the rest and then this one's a bit longer so just like three tables where we can put brewing stands on and people can work at or they're brewing or just mine technically since nobody else is gonna be here but yeah that's what this room will be for and then maybe against the wall, we can also have some tables for where we would, to, where we were to put like, maybe I'm I'm not too sure, but we can have some tables on the side. And I'm gonna have to make these tables a little taller than they would be. I don't think we're gonna need more than ten uh, brewing stands, but then we also need some for blaze powder to put into the brewing stand. So I think you know we can actually use these. We can, like, inspect it in the potion lab, I guess. I'm not too sure, but this should be enough brewing stands for our purposes. Uh, we don't actually need very many, so I'm just going to put them, like, so along the tables that we have. And these are actually quite full, so I guess that's all we're going to be doing. And, uh... I'll spread out some like, blaze powder and stuff and get this room a little finalized. And once we get like spore blossoms in the next update or something, I think I want to add some in this room or somewhere to give it more of an environmental feel. I think something like this for now in our brewing room would be actually pretty good. And, uh, oops, didn't mean to break that torch. But, uh, I think that we have quite a few supplies. I didn't really get very much. If we need it, I'll go get more. 
We have some furnaces to smelt stuff and uh, barrels to do stuff. I'm, I actually kind of want to add a crafting table in here as well to just do things with. And yeah, I, th I love how that uh, interior turned out. But uh, yeah, that is it for that interior. But now we got to do some work on how we can figure out a way to bring magic back into the world. So I'm going to start off by going over, hopefully not too close to the demon to the point where he can talk to us. But into this building right here and do a bit of reading. I've been sitting here for quite a while, and I ended up finding a Create Magic book. And uh, it says, How to Make a Book of Magic to Unleash a Magical Spirit. First thing you need to do is at the center of your wizard tower, which means this is probably for wizards. I don't really understand how it works, but you're supposed to place a cauldron in the cauldron, put this book, one nether wart, one golden carrot, and one piece of magic. Can be good or bad magic. So, I think I have all those. Uh, then you will use this book as the new book of magic to summon a powerful member. Like, it's so undetailed. Like, ha. But look, a magical member of the. Or a. To summon a very powerful member of the magical. What is this supposed to say? I think they ran out of ink or something, which sucks. And uh, it's by the magical. So, yeah, we're gonna do this now. Oh, and also, another book told me a spell to cast a magical spirit with the Book of Magic, so I'll just use that spell. Okay, I got a golden carrot, a magic, this whatever this book is, I think. Yes, a nether wart, and a piece of magic. And now all we need is a cauldron to put at the center of our wizard tower, which, should we do that downstairs? Let's see. Or should we do that on the upper floor? I think we should do that on one of the upper floors. Is that all? So, uh, this book, um, something magical, Nether Wart and Golden Carrot, was that right? Uh, yes, that is right. So, at the center, which would be, like, here, we would place the cauldron. And, uh, I think we would just throw it all in, right? Bam, bam, bam. That's not even in. Okay, I see how it is. Bam, bam. And bam. Is that right? And bam. Go in th the cauldron, wand. Yes, bam. No, bam. Yes. That is it, right? And... The Book of Magic. Create magic. I don't know. But now, apparently, if we use... This incantation, which is, so while holding the book, if we use the incantation, Samani de Rego, uh, Samani de Rego, like that, I think a magical spirit will spawn and help us defeat the demon. Yes, we're, we're summoning it. Samani de Rego! Samani de Rego! 